Spy on. Today we will be uh, looking on SDK, Android SDK. So we will just, uh, I'll just give you an introduction about Android SDK, what this Android SDK is and uh, what are the content of it. So there are various way we have ADB bundle that's uh, an old format that we already had and recently what we have seen that Android Studio has come much into picture. So there are two ways that you can do is one is you can download uh, uh, ADB bundle directly from Android sites. I'll just give show you that is just Google G O G L E ADB bundle B U N D L E okay so uh, this is the official website of android so here is android studio i don't really know if they are now providing with adb bundle or not so anyway you can uh, if you already have an adb bundle or you are downloading an android studio once you install by default the android studio will uh, install a uh, your sdk into this folder that I'm showing you that will be C drive users your current username app data inside app data local and here we have one folder called Android Android folder will contain of SDK folder no SDK stands for software development kit this SDK is uh, majorly for uh, Android and uh, let me give you a very quick view on what this folder contains this will this uh, folder will contain uh, several other folders and programs uh, of which we'll be just focusing more into two of the folders one is platform tools okay where there is something called adb.exe now adb is your android debugger and in further uh, videos i'll just be showing how to use adb to perform various kind of activities on your android device and here also we have SQLite that is uh, the default database that is present for Android devices. Uh, let's go back to our SDK folder and let's uh, check other files that is present here. Now here is one file, two, for, uh, two files that are two applications actually that I would like to show you. One is your uh, your UI UI Automator viewer. This uh, this particular UI automotive viewer if you double tap on this it will open up a command window and it will launch one application let it launch okay now it launched as my device is connected here what I'm going to do what this tool actually does is it will take the screenshot of uh, of your mobile that is connected of your uh, android device that is connected now see here here we have the screenshot now what we use this is for locating uh, the packages and the exact elements the address of the element so that we can uh, use it in various kind of uh, mm, other programs like for example i i, I might be using this for uh, automating from apm or robotm or anything as such so this is this is pretty much like it will show you all the hierarchy and the element and the exact name of the element how an android system identifies it let me show you another example uh, let me launch an application and then i'll show you how exactly it points i'll just be launching flipkart for example the application has launched I'll take the screenshot once more or, or rather let me take uh, some other application uh, let, let me take calculator for example that will be much better okay I'm taking the screenshot once again okay now as you sh see here uh, it is giving you the exact location or ID okay the index number the button number and a 
class uh, and and so on so we have you see that we exactly uh, are able to come to know about the exact specification of the element that is present in in this application okay uh, and moreover uh, whatever actually we need to uh, identify or locate exact element we will be we will be able to get it from this particular tool exactly very similar to that of uh, what we have uh, in the other uh, a for web like firebug or anything else any other tool okay so let me close this one other one important tool is here is ddms you find ddms okay now this tool let it launch okay now it this tool will just show you all the device uh, the this is the device log that is generated so many in many places you can use this device log suppose your application is crashing or you want to uh, collect a log and exactly know want to know what is going on okay and uh, there are many other the many other things that you can do the th threads running allocation tracks info network uh, emulator controls so anyway this isn't an emulator so that will be in that case network and info so uh, this is one tool that uh, in further videos we will be talking more about these tools okay for now uh, uh, let's let me close this dbms and get back so these are two uh, folders and uh, in this folder tools folder these are the two major application that we we need to know about anyway we have other applications that you can go through later is like monkey runner this is uh, one of the tool that you can use to automate uh, your android application to test and there are two <coughs> other sorry other tools also present here in the same sdk folder one is your sdk manager and one is your ad yeah sorry avd manager sdk manager just let's launch it sdk manager uh, will provide you an interface that uh, through which what you can do sorry it has already launched here what you can do is you can check the packages that is already installed the apis that is already in installed okay uh, the APIs that has already uh, gone out uh, outdated and you can manage all your packages right from here uh, let me tell you a little about this right now uh, this API actually this level of APIs this indicates the Android version that you are using okay so higher is the API level higher is the Android version like API 23 is, uh, uh, is, is for Android 6 that marshmallow that recently they have launched and so on for the lower versions api 22 21 and so on so this will give you a pretty much very good idea and uh, a very good tool to manage your sdk and the environment that you want to work with okay you can install update or delete old packages that is an uh, outdated no more uh, android supports those packages so this was about a adv sorry uh, sdk manager let me close it and another is avd manager that is Android virtual device manager so in many cases you are not using the real devices okay in that case what we do is we emulate a device uh, there is a difference between emulating and uh, emulator and stimulator so emulator is basically it will uh, replicate the complete uh, replica of uh, original device original system okay so it will be with respect to your uh, uh, not only with respect to our uh, uh, software but also with respect to our hardware so it will completely uh, make a replica of it but uh, uh, simulator will simulator will just simulate the OS it will not have the hardware specification or the hardware that we need that we actually need how uh, uh, it will react in the real world so that is a pretty much very good difference between an emulator and a, and a simulator uh, you can also uh, do same by uh, using any of uh, other simulating software such as uh, virtual device or anything as such but that will again uh, do the same it will just uh, simulate and it will not emulate uh, let me close uh, or you can actually create number of devices and it, uh, you can create a, a device when you don't have a specific device with you and you want to uh, check your application if it's running proper on a given specified device so you can just create a new virtual device here and you can work with it that was uh, pretty much an introduction to SDK uh, but I'll, I'll just also let you know about setting the environment variable I don't want to 
get another video for this one so uh, how do we set the environment variable so that uh, it is recognized throughout the system so what we'll do is we will go to platform tools and we will just copy this whole address and we will open go to our system we'll tap on advanced system settings click on environment variable we will uh, find path here okay and we will tap on edit and will not click new please uh, pay attention and we, we will not create a, a, a new a new for this one we will just edit the old path if you create a new path uh, what it will do is it will override the previous path and uh, you it will screw up with the number of functionalities with your system so what we will do we will just tap on the on the path we'll tap on edit it will give you the list of path that is present in the in the environment as i have already added this path i don't need to add it again you can do, uh, do this just by clicking on new and add for older versions like uh, windows 7 and 8 or or below win, uh, below windows 10 you won't be getting this kind of interface you, you will just uh, get a window uh, i'll just show you the kind of window you'll get it will just be a kind of window like this where uh, you have to mention the path here so make sure not to override any of the things that is present just put a semicolon and paste the path so that will be uh, how you will be setting the path another thing you will have to do is to create a android home in this you need to uh, click on new and write down uh, the same you'll have to do the same i'll just show you this one as i created earlier click on this and write android home and mention the sdk android sdk folder that is present in your system do not mention platform tools right here uh, just until uh, sdk that will be c drive users and for me uh, it's done then app data local android sdk just that's it and we'll hit ok press uh, click on ok ok and we will launch our command shell command prompt and we will check if it's oh, it, it's recognized universally so for checking that we will just fire adb command and see uh, the system recognizes adb from uh, adb so this is how you set an environment variable for android system so this was pretty much an introduction to uh, android sdk and uh, in forthcoming videos even i will be uh, telling you more and how to use the tools and whatever we had been talking right now here uh, in this video so please uh, like subscribe and comment uh, for any uh, video requests please comment below and thank you for this